Today was a day I'll never forget. As the commander of a tank squadron in the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, I've seen my fair share of battles, but none quite like this. We faced off against an East Germany battalion, and I couldn't help but feel a knot of apprehension in my stomach as we prepared for the fight. The tension in the air was palpable, a silent testament to the gravity of the situation. But as the battle unfolded, my fears were quickly replaced by a sense of awe and pride. Our squadron fought with precision and determination, our tanks moving as one cohesive unit, like a well-oiled machine. Despite the intensity of the firefight, we managed to emerge victorious without taking any casualties. It's a testament to the skill and courage of my soldiers, the unwavering dedication to their duty that runs deep in their veins. I couldn't be prouder to lead such a remarkable group of men and women into battle. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Warno for episode 5. Today we're engaging with the Aufklarungs Battalion. It's really not equipped to go on any offensive or defensive operation. It is a reconnaissance battalion. It comes with a lot of these Fuchsrazit with their excellent optics or exceptional optics and a bunch of, uh, well, very old Leopard 101s. They are okay with accuracy, like 60% static, 40% motion. Whether that'll be enough to stem the flood of incoming T-55s, which do have a lot of veterancy and accuracy, remains to be seen. Fortunately, they don't have a lot of them. They still have some, but I have more. The enemy picked this fight. Let's see if I can survive. It is all going to come down to what type of map we have and how I'm able to deploy my units to my best of my advantages. Right. <laughs> I'm the defender, right? <laughs> Why are these two cap zones so close to the AI? When I was attacking as the AI, the game said, well, you know, uh, this would be a nice place for a capture zone. So I'm not sure exactly why the game now goes, yeah, no, this is fine. These are very close to the Reds, uh, but, uh, you know, we'll just give it to them or something. Now, I have a couple of these Leopards in the uh, Aufklärer SK-5. I've got 253545 and 55. This is basically 12 Leopards and a leader per group. Well, not all of them. Um, this is more of a looks group. And over here we have a bunch of Jaeger. Not great infantry. Look at that veterancy. That's a potential problem. They do have an okay anti-tank weapon, but as the Panzerfaust have shown in the previous battle, they're not that good. They don't exactly deal the levels of damage as I was expecting, sadly. Now, when it comes to my ability to try and ambush the enemy, I'm thinking I might be able to use this ridge line, but it is going to be shaky. Alternatively, this could be a position and um, just basically park a bunch of leopards here and wait for tanks to thunder down this road, ambushing them at short range. At the hill here, I do have this position as an option, so I'm going to try to exploit that as well. So let's deploy one Leopard 101 from that group. Um, they are cheap, which is a very nice bonus. I most likely will not be able to babysit these as well as the other ones. The Abrams, um, they are, the C11 and the ACR, they're going to have to do a lot of work for me. So it is entirely likely that they are not expendable. Uh, the Leopard 1A1s, don't tell the drivers, the crew, I do find them a bit more expendable. I know, I know. Like, don't tell anybody, but, you know... They're a bit more expendable. Uh, let's send a couple of Unimogs with them to repair them. I do have the infantry, but on this map, beyond that town or maybe an ambush position, I'm not too sure where to put that. I don't like this position at all. Normally I would, because it's a nice bit of cover. But in this case, against an enemy that has better guns, well, that advantage is not good. I'm also going to have to send a couple of these recon birds, well, recon units with them. So one there, one there, one here. Normally I wouldn't <clears throat> exactly have those eat in my deck because I find that they are too expensive and they can't shoot. They're just really good at spotting. 
But um, in this case, well, it'll be interesting to use him. The reason why I'm not using the Fuchs is that, the, sorry, the Lux is that the Lux just die the moment that something starts shooting at him. That is very likely early game when those T55s are going to show up. But potentially later, I might have an option to start using the Lux more offensively when blobs of infantry are coming out. There is one little bitty problem that I am facing, and that is that the enemy has brought JBG-37. That is code for their Air Force. So that's going to be all sorts of interesting. And I'm not really sure how well that's going to play out. That is going to be a very, a very dangerous thing to play around. Let's remove the CV. Um, the CV is basically here to quick quickly capture and then bug out. And this CV, the Lopret 101, is going to sit over basically there, capture it, but oh, sorry, there, but also uh, boost the efficacy of the rest of the Leopards. That's the plan. As for overall strategy, I'm planning on going fairly defensive this battle. So I'm going to keep a couple of points in reserve, uh, also because I'm not really sure on where to spend those at the moment. All right, this Razit. I don't know, this tree line, I guess. And let's just see how it goes. Instantly capping this sector, that's good, but holding on to this sector, that's going to be a little more challenging. That's one. Trying to go for a full cap might be possible, but I think it's rather unlikely that it'll work. Hello, Concours. See, that's a problem. I don't have an answer to the Concours. That thing is very likely to spot me before I spot it. Um, I'm not so sure if the leopard... Yep, yeah, there we go. If the leopards are equipped with a smoke launcher, but by the looks of it, they're not. And they don't have any armor. So I have all sorts of problem. And um, yeah, range is another one. Oh, that was lucky. And here comes the Air Force. That's the first leopard dead. Gone. Deal with this. And pull back into cover. Over here, let's put these leopards in a line formation and see if we're able to take down some of these guys that are currently trying to position themselves in that town where I suspect they're not going to just sit and relax. They're most likely going to move up. And that might be my opportunity to start wrecking a couple of them. T-55, flank shot, beautiful. Kill. Another one. MTLB, kill. This is a good range for the Leopards to fight at. Should have brought more uh, logistics here. You fall back. Ammo explosion, kill. BMP on the left, BMPs in the middle. Yep. Leopards, let loose. Something's shooting back at me here. It's that T-55 right there. Kill. Oh, that was with infantry inside as well. Let's get a couple more lepers on this position. I'll take it sick. Holy shit, what the hell? Okay, so they're going hard on the left. That's interesting. Um, these guys are also armed with ATGMs. What I'm not seeing at the moment is their reconnaissance. Doesn't mean they don't have it. Hmm... I'm not really sure about how to deal with this particular threat. If I let them continue on their merry way, they're going to end up here, which could be an option. Like a building like this or a building like that might be something I can attack. Let's get a couple of Jaeger over there, although they'll, they'll beat me to the punch by a, a massive margin. Cancel that. Get more Leos. I think the advantage is going to be the, the numbers of Leopards, but ah, that's a lot of T-55s. As for this column over here, there does appear to be one 55, no, two of them. Except that I don't really have any Leopards in combat capable condition over here, and I don't want to just wastelessly get rid of all of them. So you gentlemen are going to have to line up. Uh, Two by two is fine, so long as you can get a shot off. Pull this thing back. 
pull this thing over here. It's really unfortunate that this deck does not come with any kind of artillery. Because this would be a prime target. As for all of these leopards here, um, that's not really going to survive for any <laughs> due period of time. Oh, you're making a mistake there, friend. Take this target. I don't care for the BMP. Get the T-55. Oh, nearly. Fall back. You, you, and you. Engage. Come on, dude. Make an effort. Bloody hell. Why are you missing this much? You are stationary. Need a good commander out there. Oh, that's not very helpful. I'm surprised this thing is still alive. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> surprised this thing is still alive and dead. I deserve that. Uh, Razit. Fall back a bit. I don't like this column just thundering up here. I like that one bit. If we're going to fight these guys, we're going to do it in numbers. Uh, yeah, let's bring another Razit or two. Go on. Not the command tank, if you can kindly manage it. I'm really surprised they haven't pushed here, but considering where everybody else is, I guess it's not that surprising. You've been repaired. You're going to fall all the way back. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Yeah, make it a nice, uh, dense column over here. Because these guys are now making a mistake. They're getting too close. And they're giving me, to some extent, flanks. But they too have numbers. And that's a bit concerning. Kill. Morale's dropping fairly quickly. Yeah, I don't have the armor to trade. So I just lost a bunch of leopards there. Let's get these Jaegers. It's not a great option. We'll just have to create a stopgap measure, if you will. Wow. Okay. Now, these Leopards might be able to start hunting. Under the guidance of the Razit. You are in a fairly awful position. Uh, let's just put you over there. Yeah, I'm going to have these guys over here. We're going to try and take that Gwazdika and potentially any CVs that they happen to have out there. The flank on the right is fairly weak. But, you know, it's a recon battalion. It's never supposed to see combat at this level without any kind of support. That's exactly what we're getting. Let's get a leader infantry in here and a command tank. Oh, can't afford that. What? Ah, you got the Gwazdika. Perfect. Well done. About 27 seconds, I can get another one. Drop these boys off. There's no friendlies over here. Eliminate it. Get the Razit over there. There's Leopards under attack. Oh yeah, it is. That's a command tank. Right there. Even with the three of us, we... Well, maybe. But I kind of doubt it. Let's park that Azid over there. This thing... Well, maybe. Maybe. It's going to be an uncomfortable battle. Oh, that doesn't help. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. It's well done. That is well done. Okay. Uh, that leader has arrived. We need to have the leader and his friends move forward and try to clarify or uh, purify this forest. We want to have a command tank coming in from the other side. Yeah, right. It's very, very generous of them to want to donate that. I'm sure my leopards will make good use of it. Oh, fuck me. I'm sure my leopards will make good use of it. Uh, there are no friendly units here. Shoot what you can. Why are they all coming back? Is that as a reaction to my leopard attack? I 
Yes, it is. Oh, it's a gem. <laughs> Kill. The one good thing about this is that these tanks might actually run out of fuel. If they do run out of steam, <laughs> they're going to be looking mighty stupid. But I'm going to have to eliminate those resupply units quickly. Um... Yeah. Okay. Now, these guys are all sitting here. Can we... Oh, that's another command tank, isn't it? It's like another T-55. No, we're gonna hold. Hold, 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 hold. I'm thinking of blobbing up first. Getting more numbers. Because without that, it's going to be a very tough fight. Even with the numbers, it's going to be a tough fight. We can get this guy, though. Prepare to ambush. He made a massive mistake coming here alone. Kill. Okay, so that's one. These Leos were the... Let's say the Site Protection Force. Yeah, this is when a Lux would have been very helpful. Let's get one over there. Command tank coming in. Possibly to reinforce this position. This command tank's going to have to help out here. Ah, oh, crap. Here comes the resupply. So that's fuel and ammunition. And more importantly, repairs. Alright. The command tank's moving over there. Mm. I'm going to get another complete group of leopards here. We're going to send, let's say, about eight leopards plus the command to deal with that command tank there and capture the zone fully. That's the plan. It's really unfortunate this command tank is kind of taunting me because I'm currently unwilling to go after it. Are you getting into cover or something? Okay. Um, move up a little. Oh! What we got there? A BMP. I doubt there's just going to be the one. But it is possible. Part of me wants to engage these guys and eliminate them. Part of me says, no, why would you? There's no real benefit to taking those things out. That's infantry. You. New job. Uh, get me more leopards, if you will. Mm. Let's push a couple here. Let's go. Looks this way. I'm very surprised this Razit has not been noticed. Very surprised. Welcome to... Oh, is that a tank? Yes. Some unwelcome surprise. Thankfully, it's not armed with an ATGM. Let's go, Lux. These guys are off-roaders, right? Uh, Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. And here come the ATGMs. So the reconnaissance isn't that good. That's interesting to note. Give me a couple more Jaegers. Because this forest is going to be hunting ground. It's just not sure who's hunting ground as of right now. But by the looks of it, uh, potentially theirs. Because I got three Jaeger squads. They're coming in with a lot of infantry. And BMPs. I'm not too worried about the BMPs. The infantry, though? Those numbers? That could be a little unfortunate. So let's get the leopards in here. The one good thing is that these guys keep maneuvering back and forth and back and forth. And they are burning through their supplies and their fuel very quickly. So that could be their downfall. Leopards, <clears throat> let's go. I need you to not get into cover. Do nothing. I need you to just sit on the road. Let's 
See, I can take these. No, I cannot take that. No! No, no, no. Take the other guys, but not all of that. Oh, these Unimarks better start getting off road. Ah, Jesus. What I really like about this army general campaign is that you're going to have to get creative with your solutions about how to deal with these units. Considering that normally a situation like this is very unlikely to occur. Because normally you would just have the tools that you need. Normally you would just have like all the gear out there to complete this task. Right now, it's a bunch of T-55s. And with the AI's questionable maneuvers, they're just kind of sitting there. Like, are they having a party or are they mourning their dead friend? I'm not sure. Uh, more Jaeger, please. I'm not sure if this... Can this Razit move up here quickly, or... Oh, I won't see anything. Stop! Stop, stop, stop. This push is going to be very interesting. If I can take that out, I can get a complete victory with caps. They don't have a total victory or anything near that, because they don't have the caps. And I don't want to wait another 35 minutes or so. What is that? Logistics. If only I could take those out more efficiently. Give me another Zit. Um, yeah, let's have two of them come in from the other side. I want to get more optics on this big field over here. And the looks over here and the Zit over there are not quite cutting it. All of you, let's move. What? Yeah. Oh, good lord. Would you look at that? That is ridiculous. It's tanks, it's their transports, like the logistics units. It's everything, but for some reason, it's not pushing. Okay, ambush time. Kill one. Here come the T-55s. Jaegers, forward. Leopards attack. These guys are going to get very busy and they're in my forest. <clears throat> so we're going to fight this on my terms. That's one. At this range, those leopards are going to be far more deadly. Swap these out. I will lose at least one Jaeger squad, most likely. Kill. Oh, so far, so good. Did we get that? I think we did. We capped it. There's a plane out there that I can't currently work on. Not my problem. Get these back. Um, yeah, let's get a bunch more Jaeger. So we're doing a heck of a job against all these guys. Well done. I lost one Jaeger group in all that. But so far, so good. Oh, that's not very good. That's not something I really want to chest out. Kill. Beautiful. Over here, we got all sorts of artillery raining down. Victory in 14 minutes. I get the Razit over there, not through the forest. If you don't really mind, uh, get this command tank into the enemy cap zone. Another Jaeger. <coughs> the group's been destroyed. But they lost a heck of a lot of forces there. Oh, crap, it's now just a tank group because the Razit fell behind too far. Okay. There's already over there. Motor shoots in. Um, I don't exactly have the Jaegers to deal with all that at the moment. More guys coming in as we speak. Ah! Well, well, well. Free kills. Oh, here comes the plane again. 
Here comes the plane again. Total Vic in about eight minutes. You, start helping out. You guys, start pissing everybody else off. Get rid of this infantry. Not you. You are boosting their efficiency, that's excellent. We should be dealing with this guy very quickly. We got the numbers, there we go. Enemy morale dropped 50%. We're capturing the sector, and we got planes incoming! Everybody scatter! Because that's really bad news. Oh yeah. So, that's three sectors fully capped. Five minutes to victory. Wait! Somewhere over there. <laughs> this Razit is actually going to find that position. And then consequently won't be able to do anything beyond spot it. Oh man, that's a bit ironic. Right, you guys are going to go over there. The rest of you just uh, merrily drive your way over there. Look at that! Hello. Rude. I'm not even sure I can get there in five minutes. Completely forgot about these Razits in the heat of the battle. That's fine. Ah, more. Mm. Yep. The very edge of the map. Yeah, I saw the command tank. At the very edge of the map, the cowards are hiding. And their aerial buddies are right along with them. Try not to kill my command tank. I would love to keep that intact. Okay, fine. Be like that. I will kill your other arty, though. And I will kill your logistics truck out of spite, because I can't capture it anyway. Let's go. Let's not stop and wait for the planes to rearm. Oh! There's a damn command tank over there. Okay, then I do need the command tank to join this fight. Because without that, I won't really have the the veterancy and the stats to actually get that done. Oh, please don't run out of fuel. I need to get my revenge. Kill. Kill. Come on! It's a big piece of already. It's even coming your way. Thank you. Now hide. One minute twenty. I think they're going to try and counter cap this position again. And for once, I kind of don't, I don't actually mind if they try and do that, because it means I can get another command kill. But by the looks of it, it might be changing its mind, and it's not actually going to try and counter cap. Not within that time frame. Stop. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> now, thankfully, this was a weakened East German Brigade, or Battalion. If this was a full health one, it would never have worked. It would never have worked. I did lose a healthy amount of units. So, in that sense, yeah, I didn't play it that well. Thankfully, the unit in itself survived. There we go. Eliminated. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Battalion one forty two has deployed in Schwalmstadt. Ah, ready for battle. Okay, so that's more Panzer Grenadiers. Now I'm not terribly fond of these, but then again, last time around I didn't actually use the leaders enough to try and boost the, uh, well, <laughs> fairly poor stats of these poor guys. So I should do that more. Um, they're gonna take two, three turns to get to the front. I'm kind of trying to have these guys link up with the 11th and the 152nd, but it's going to be tricky to get there. Because we do appear to have some resistance in our path. Um, next turn, we're going to have... Ah, uh, yes, the reservists. The trash, really. 
Um, not good for anything but a town fight, and even then, I mean, it's just just battle rifles. And the occasional lost recoilless rifle. Outside of that, they're useless. They're just trash. In three turns, we're going to have more units, but it remains to be seen how long we can last until then. Let's just push them up this road as far as I can. Um, and you're going to have to try and join that position if you can. Okay, and that's enough for one episode. Next episode, most likely another encounter with the 152nd. Oh, sorry, with the, um, yeah, with the 152nd as well. And with the 11th. I'm going to probably give up a bit more terrain and maybe try and get rid of these groups. Although this one is full health. So how we're going to be able to do that, let's see that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more.